welcome back to the channel guys today i'll be trying out the final fantasy 16 demo this game is meant to be released on the 17th of september which is odd timing because um god of war ragnarok is meant to be released on the 19th so i'm not too sure why they released these two games so close together but regardless i'm happy to see that the game is or just around the corner now i've been waiting for this all year so it's going to go through the in-game settings now playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160 at 144 hertz game does have hdr but i'll be doing that in a separate video now in terms of graphics i have nvidia dlss3 enabled just so i can select dlaa which is deep learning anti-aliasing it's not upscaling but the game does also support all of the dlss settings you would expect it also supports FSR and XCSS for those who are wondering. Um, also has DLSS frame generation. I won't be using that for this video, but because um, I want to keep things native, but I will be doing that in the future. Maximum frame rate is 240, but I don't think anyone will be reaching that anyway. Motion blur, vignette, chromatic aberration, all turned off, just a personal choice for me. And Nvidia reflex low latency enabled. Graphical quality, high is the highest. Doesn't seem to say anything about ray tracing, but you do have the option of screen space reflections, at least, and ambient occlusion, bloom shader. Variable rate shading, again, something that degrades quality in areas you wouldn't notice. So you want to keep a native non-dynamic image to turn this off, which I have. And finally, I am using my PlayStation 5 control pad and it does support the adaptive trigger. So that is pretty much it for the in-game settings. Let's get straight into the demo. I've been waiting for this one. Okay, it's Ifrit versus Phoenix. I remember reading some reports that these scenes really caused some issues with PlayStation 5's overheating. Okay, this scene's actually interactive. So you're playing as the Phoenix fighting me for it. Two fire summons, so that's a bit awkward. You're getting the better of it at the moment though. And this scene is really intense. There's no way you're holding 60 doing this. I don't understand why they locked this game to 30 FPS. Okay, I guess that's the main character. Seems like they've locked the cutscenes to 30 FPS, which is disappointing because then you're going to have that sharp frame rate drop every time you encounter one. 
I really wish they give you the option to go from 60 to 30 if you need to. But I guess these scenes are pretty demanding. Maybe that's why they did it. It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else. Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Let's get this done. Seems everyone can just use magic. It's hard to tell if this is an FMV sequence or an actual real time. But I think they don't use FMV sequences in the whole game. Everything's real time, so that is pretty awesome that they've done that. But at the same time, that Freddy FPS lock's a little bit annoying. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Nice to hear yes. the Final Fantasy main theme again. I said focus, Wyvern. Just looking at the textures, they're nice and sharp. I remember seeing some PlayStation 5 footage where it's uh, a little bit blurry. Because the game's so GPU taxing, they obviously had to use dynamic resolution scaling. But this is locked at 4K. Okay, just tutorials. It's going to be loads of pop-ups. No so yeah, no problem. Time to move. Looks like they're at war. I can't really judge performance yet. Just in time. Is that what they call the summons on this game? Dominance. To the gates! Quickly! Move! It's always what nice hearing mean, familiar refuse. themes. Did you not pledge your swords to our cause? Come now. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest. And you have his majesty's answer.
wonder that you summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? The front lines are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. Okay, I don't like the way it keeps starting and stopping from cutscene to action, but it is a story driven game, so I understand. At least in the parts I've been able to play so far, it's been smooth enough. The game doesn't use much VRAM though, and barely any CPU utilization. And quick and deadly, as always. Take the van. Wait. Something's not right. Gonna get to see an epic summon fight again. That would be the equivalent of having Reiner on your side. Okay, we're back into some gameplay. I don't like the way it's so start and stop, but it looks really good. And I like the way everything's quite nice and sharp. Shiva and Titan really going at it. Anytime, Wildman. Trying to find a way through here.
completely knocked him out. Wyvern! Wyvern! I told you before, you do not get to die here. I guess this is when he was younger. Looks like the same dude anyway. But this might be a memory or something. Well, if you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. <laughs> Battle is a succession of pivotal moments wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory. Or at the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. You wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rossfield. Spar with me. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame... Finally, we get to fight. As you wish, my lord. Get to hear the combat theme now for the first time. Make proof of your strength. Breaking an opponent's will. The will gorge indicates the opponent's will to fight back. Break their spirit by landing attacks and strike them when they are vulnerable. Okay. Go on, you're sure to beat him this time. Let's go. You can do it, Clive. Just stay calm. Uh, quite Why wouldn't I do it? You're taking this serious? Yeah, but I'm hurt now. Targeting your enemies. Lord Murdoch's will has been broken, leaving him staggered. Try dealing as much damage as he can before the. He regains his senses, press R2 and swear to execute the rising flame. Powerful iconic ability granted Clive by the blessing of the Phoenix. Okay. Strong. Come on. Come on, Clive. Keep pressing. Just a little. Not so smug now, are you? display worthy of your father you are a true shield of the flame and let no one tell you otherwise including me what are you lot gawping at back to your drills To 
not sure. I was just tired. The Phoenix's flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <coughs> That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. We'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. His grace has returned! Father's back! Hey! <laughs> Your Grace, please, uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to serve. Joshua. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Good day to you, Mother. Wow, she just Come flat out blanked him. What the hell was that? Your father will be expecting us. Hmm. Lord Murdoch. Your Grace. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. Hopefully we'll learn what that hostility is about. That was a frosty reception from his mum. I'm not too happy with the pacing of the game. It's too much cutscenes for my liking. I'm sure it opens up. Joshua. You are well, I trust. Yes, Father. Much better. Today, Jill and I went to the bathing to watch Clive Spa. Is that so? <laughs> Quiet, Toro. Stop it, boy. Not now. He'll make a fine hound one day. Father. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. The capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, Father. Your Grace. Shields dismissed. Where do you think you're going? Hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Right. Dang, I get to finally play now. I feel like the game's really been stopping and starting a little bit too much. But I understand you've got to teach. Is trouble 
I understand you got to teach the new player how to play the game. But um, it's just a really, really slow start. But let's get into it. The game is insanely demanding at 84k. I think um, upscaling is going to be a must for pretty much 90% of people. Depending on what resolution you're playing at least. Close the gates. Let's hope the side entrance is still open. Okay, let's have a look around. See where else we can go. What is this? Finding items. Whose items right. can be found across the realm by those who know where to look? Okay. Stuff I take the whole Duchess calls for our heads. Another cutscene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good as new. Uh, uh, uh. Forgive me, Lord Marquess Pray, do not concern yourself with this bungling cur. Bow to him, you fool! Uh, I, uh, I say to speak! It was no trouble, really. Oh, do not indulge him! To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Stand, please. Stand. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember. It is for the good of the duchy that you serve. As do we all, my lord. As do we all. Come along now. Back to your duties. <laughs> Seems like a cool dude. Most nobility are pretty stuck up, but um, he seems compassionate. Looks like they're getting ready for supper. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. Nice and quiet in here, isn't it? There's Joshua. I... Are you worried about the war? The soldiers will expect the Phoenix to help them, but I don't know if I can. Don't worry, Joshua. Father will guide you. And I will protect you. Always. I know. Thank you, Clive. Do you understand? The power of the Phoenix dwells within Joshua, and Joshua alone. If any ill should befall him, it will be on your head. Do not neglect your duties again. I wonder what the deal is with the mum. She's pretty, uh, hostile. And another cutscene. Have you done the pacing for this demo?
You commanded my presence, Your Grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. Mother isn't here. Do the territories fare any better? Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the Blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. By the flames. Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the Deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua Shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. It is time to prove your strength. And shut your mother up for good. Hmm? <clears throat> I will do my duty, Your Grace. That will be all. Rest well. We ride at dawn. Yes, Your Grace. Active Time Law, hold. I don't even know what that button's called. To access the Active Time Law feature, a compilation of important information relevant to Clive's current storyline progression. AT alternatively can even be viewed during most cutscenes, okay? I'm not going to bore you guys with all of that. I'm going to get up there somehow. Can't go that way. Maybe it's this way. No. Not too sure what to make of it so far. But I'm glad that um, we're getting the Final Fantasy games finally. this time not long four days maybe five and you will be taking Joshua well I can't exactly leave him behind can I the blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins before going to war we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate it's our way you know that 
and only the dominant can enter the apothecary. So yes, I'm taking Joshua. Oh, to hell with your way! The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the phoenix. The heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Though he is a youth of but 15 years, he's already a fine soldier. He will make a splendid shield. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless, a man like any other. As am I, my dear. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, not this again. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. You are your father's firstborn son, and you sit upon the throne. All is in its right place. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. Without men like Clive to keep us safe, your precious noble blood would yeah, lose that its way to check the there. And he, yeah, and he turned down the banger as well. What king? This is it then. Time to prove yourself. Wishing on a star. I'm a little old for that. I should get some sleep. Right. You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I have another mission too. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. I wonder what their relationship's like. Obviously, she's into him. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. It never really ends, does it? No. The next war will be bigger than before. But you'll be alright, won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all, and blessed by the Phoenix.
Ambrosia. We won't be hunting today. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do brilliantly. Mm, I'll try. <laughs> Gate. May the blessing of the crystals go with us and shield the fireless flame forever! As Grace departs, open the gates! Not too sure why there's so many frame spikes in the cutscenes that are locked at 30 FPS, it doesn't make much sense. Rossfield, allow me. I shall see her safely to Phoenix Gate. Thank you. We're ready to depart, my lord. May I say what an honor it is to serve alongside you. No mere investigation. If there are goblins in Stillwind, they won't leave willingly. The beastmen are a fierce foe. We underestimate them at our peril. Not today, we won't. Sir Wade, Sir Tyler, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. As you command. To the marshes, then. And may the blessing of the crystals go with us. Keep your eyes open for those goblins. The reports placed them in this area. It's all swamps from here. Watch your step, my lord. <laughs> and everything else. Okay, finally we get to explore. Not exactly the most well-maintained path. And who do you imagine would maintain it? They've all fled from the blight. It's hard to believe that anyone used to live here. The old village of Stillwind is ahead. Not that there's a lot left of it. I can see that there's anything more to find here. Endless cutscenes is quite frustrating. Goblins. So the reports were true. 
hardly a challenge. Something inside here. Welcome to Stillwind. Have care, my lord. So when enemies will drop kill or items from the defeat, loot is gathered automatically by approaching the glittering icons. Normal gameplay feels pretty smooth, but it's just the uh, the 60 FPS experience was definitely not achievable on console based on how demanding this game is. So I understand why they've locked all the cutscenes to 30 FPS, but it's just jarring. The transition. Seem like there's anything to collect. Where to now? Something inside here. the same. I don't remember where I'm meant to go. Maybe this way. We should be nearing the old village square. It might not be a nest of goblins. Have to fight our way out of this. I'm working on it. He's the leader. But we'll have to take care of his followers first. Care to thin the hurt? As if you have to ask. Uh, shit! He's in my 
That doesn't surprise me. Formidable foes, larger enemies must be faced with caution. They have far more HP than their smaller counterparts. Yep. Don't expect any less. Just gonna have to. It's just gonna have to be a counter attack job. Staggered him now. Completely reducing enemies' wall gorge will stagger it. Extra damage is dealt now. So some moves are at full downs, it seems. Tributes just automatically get, get selected. You don't get to do that yourself. And I found something that I can equip. Find another way around, and we just jump over it. going to be a challenge. Keep clear of its more, my lord. That thing's breath is worse than its bite. to stagger it. This thing is just pretty strong. 
Okay, we got it staggered now. Come on, guys. The screen flashes blue light during this pivotal moment in battle press square before the time runs out. Okay. Yeah! There's some QT events while fighting. And stagger it again. I'll try and grab me again, more than likely. The screen flashes red like this during the critical moment in battle press R1 before the time runs out. Okay. Now for the final push, my lord! Up the time in there. We've almost got it. I got it for the last time. Two levels up for that. My lord. Thanks. Never thought I'd see it. Not just goblins in Rosaria, but morbles too. I'll petition His Grace to send a detachment. If we don't stop them here, they'll be at our gates before long. We should get moving. We don't want to be caught out here after dark. If we set off now, we can still reach Phoenix Gate before nightfall. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it for me. Just a quick look at the Final Fantasy 16 demo. And uh, so far, it's actually pretty interesting. I'm not too happy about the Freddy FPS cutscenes, but other than that, it's not too bad. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.